Hello guys, uh, in order to perform the most accurate gyro and magnetic error when the uh, sun comes up on the horizon or when it goes down on the horizon that's the best time to do it you will not lose plenty of time doing the calculations but what you need to know is that when you see the sun that it reaches the bottom of the sun when it reaches the horizon that's the point where you need to uh, take the bearing the actual bearing so for this instance today the uh, bearing of the sun is so today it is 292 so guys, the uh, sun now is going down. Uh, this is the most accurate gyro error you can, you can take. And of course, magnetic error uh, you can find. So what you need to know is that you need to take the sun as an observation when the sun reaches, the uh, lower part of the sun reaches the horizon. So now the sun has just gone down and uh, I will show you through this video what needs to be done in order to, uh, to perform a correct gyro error. And of course, after that, you do a magnetic error. So, um, it is very important to conduct it in order to see if your gyros are working correctly. So, and of course, your magnetic, which is the most important. In case you lose the gyro, you'll have the magnetic on board the ship and you can navigate with, uh, with her. So, uh, yeah, another day has come to an end. So, let's go inside and perform the calculations. So in order to uh, find the uh, variation for the area that you're navigating at, you need to go on these uh, arrows and place the right click and you press pick report and you go down on the left hand side and you press magnetic variation, you press the select. So reference year for magnetic variation is 2020. The um, value of change per year is seven uh, minutes annually so it's 2021 and it was minus 14 degrees for 2020 so for 2021 it will be uh, 14 degrees decimal two so that's done So guys, um, after taking our uh, following items, the date, the time, the latitude, longitude, the gyro heading, the magnetic heading, the variation, and uh, of course you need to take the uh, Brown's Almanac and the Norris Almanac in order to uh, make your calculations. So it's simple as that. And now let's go and have a look how we will do the most accurate gyro magnetic error. So now uh, we have the items required. So let's go ahead and uh, find out what we need to know. For the 16th of May, 2021, the um, declination that we require at uh, 1800 UTC, universal time coordinated, uh, is declination north 19 degrees 16.4 So that's what you need. So this is what you need from the Brown uh, Almanac. So now let's go ahead and go to the Norris. So I've marked the page. The page that we're going to use uh, is 398. This is the true azimuth at uh, rising and setting. This can be used also for stars and for planets and of course for the uh, sun. So what you will need here is um, you will need the declination and you will need the latitude. So the uh, latitude is 28 degrees. So I have that and the um, declination is 19.16. So we'll go at 19 and a half, which is 
0678. So what I have for now is 06 decimal 8. I have that, and of course I have a correction. I have a correction on the back, so please come and have a look. So now we'll need to come at page 400, and uh, we'll go on the azimuth corrections for the visible sunrise and sunset. So with the latitude, which we had is 27 degrees, we'll go to the closest one. Uh, for this instance, uh, 30 degrees is the closest one since the latitude was 27 degrees, 36 minutes north. So we'll go to this and the closest to the declination is 19 degrees. So um, that will be 20. So I'll put this below here, which is 0 0.6. I'll draw my line and I'll read here, which it says corrections obtained from the supplementary tables are applied as follows. Sun. At latitude, north latitude, on a sunrise, sunrise, we'll do a substract correction. But in the north latitude, which is today, uh, we have a sunset. We will need to add the correction. So this will be a plus, and this will make 0, 0.68 degrees decimal 4. So this now that we found here uh, needs to be adjusted, uh, calculated, in order to find the uh, actual sun bearing. So now it is 360 degrees. So now it's 360 degrees minus 0684, which makes us 291.6. So 291.6, that's the actual one. And the one which we observed from the gyra was 292. So the difference is 0 0.4. This is from the uh, gyra. So remember, if your compass is best from this, which means bigger, compass best, error west. Compass least, error east. So this is a west. So that's done here. Now we have to check our magnetic. Our magnetic um, that we have calculated is uh, 2.5 degrees difference. So uh, 292 degrees minus 2.5, that will be 289.5. So meaning that if we went up to the um, magnetic compass uh, and we observe the sun at the same time, the observation from the magnetic compass would have been 289.5. So here the uh, correction is 2.1 east. Why is that? Because compass least, error east. So we have also the magnetic and this is the gyra error. Now the last thing to do is the uh, checking of the deviation table. So in order to do that We'll take the magnetic error, which is 2.1 east, and this will erase it, and we'll do this as a west. And now we will add the uh, variation below, which is 2.6 east. So there's a difference here. The deviation is 0 0.5 east. So it is OK. It is acceptable. Our actual um, deviation table states that we will have at uh, a gyro course of uh, 0 0.95, a magnetic course, sorry, of 0 0.90, we will have 0 degrees. So it is accepted. There is some tolerance and it's close to it. So we are right with this observation. So we have completed now our calculation. Just to mention that it's very, very simple. It only takes three minutes to do it. And um, yeah, it's very useful comparing doing a, a proper um, gyro error uh, check, which in the future I will show, of course, how to do those two. But this one, the only thing that you are obliged to know is that you need to do it during sunset and during sunrise. You can't do it in any other... At time. So you need to see, you have to have a good horizon 
and you have to see the uh, lower limb of the sun going almost touching the uh, uh, surface of the water, the horizon, and um, that's the most accurate uh, error, gyro error and magnetic error that you can conduct on board a ship. So uh, thank you for watching. Please, if you feel that this uh, video is uh, nice and you like it, don't forget to put your thumbs up. And um, if there's something which you didn't like and of course you'd like to mention about it, please do so. Um, this here, uh, I would like to thank from this video, Captain Nikos Turnaris. Uh, he was my first second officer uh, when I was in my first oil tanker company. He showed me after uh, a long period on board how to perform correctly uh, the gyro errors. So I would like to thank Captain Nikos and uh, um, he taught me how to perform them. So uh, I still have all the notes. Don't forget to keep your notes. And that's um, my piece of advice. So guys, if you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your valuable comments below. And of course, uh, thumbs up. Till next time, take care, have a good day. Bye-bye.